Catherine Zion, Executive Director of the Pacific Alliance to Stop Slavery. I'm, I've already presented many facts and constitutional arguments against these types of bills. And in fact, you know very well that over the past few years, similar ordinances passed into law have not worked. Uh, it strikes me as very, very odd and confounding that you keep on this track with the same result. It doesn't work. You know what does work is fully implementing housing first, even though it takes some time. As a service provider, let me tell you what's going on out there since Bill 42 has passed. Some concrete first-hand testimony from a service provider. It has not shuttled people into shelter. It has not incentivized them to get shelter. It has actually made it harder for them to survive. They have filtered into other districts, and now you want to criminalize their existence on sidewalks in those districts, which would make it even more difficult for social service providers helping with Housing First to assess them in order to get into permanent housing. Now you want a quick fix? This is the bill to go, but in the, to, to support. But in the long run, what you will have is a much bigger problem than you have already. I urge you not to pass this bill. And here is what the homeless have to confront. Data shows that at least 400 people have died on Oahu in the last eight years. It could be more. These are just the ones recorded by the morgue. This includes four infants and a preschooler who was run over by a drunk driver in 2012. At least 55 deaths were suicides and another two, 22 were homicides. Okay? Obviously, people do not choose to be homeless. There are extreme dangers related to it. Passing this law to disperse them into other areas where social services cannot find them would put them more at risk. And the facts are, there is a drastic lack. Even if you thought that shelter service, emergency shelter was a solution to solve homelessness, which it is not, there is a drastic lack of shelter beds. Catherine, I have to ask you to come to a conclusion, please. My conclusion is, you do not have enough shelter beds, by far, in relation to the entire unsheltered population, which is unconstitutional if you pass this bill, because what you would be doing is encouraging selective enforcement and the imprisonment of homeless people. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Members, any questions for the testifier? No questions? Thank you.